Good morning, everybody. Richard Seller here on June 15th, 2018. Yes, it's me. Beard came off just temporarily for the summer, or at least for a couple of weeks of the summer. Uh, everybody in my office is freaking out. They don't recognize me. But hopefully you guys at least recognize the voice. Interesting article came out today uh, in the New York Times about pregnancy discrimination and the epidemic uh, in this country and in the workforces in America. And I I'd strongly uh, encourage you guys to take a look at the article and read it. it. It's really amazing some of the stories that they talk about, but make no mistake, we see a ton of pregnancy discrimination cases in our law firm. And it's from the subtle to the egregious. You know, you see the subtle cases where the uh, employee announces her pregnancy and slowly but surely the comments are, you sure you want to come back after you have the baby or how long are you going to be out? Um, and job duties slowly get stripped and never given back to the egregious where we had one case where the employer actually told the employee that if she didn't get an abortion, she'd lose her job. Crazy stuff. But the article is real interesting because it, it talks in terms of why should women have to choose between having an incredible profession and being a mother. For the most part, men don't have to make that choice. You know, the the standard or the, the stereotypical genre of, of, of men in the workforce is men go out, hunt food, provide for, you know, weak woman and family. I mean, it's silly, but that's the stereotype. Um, and how, you know, society has been raised is that the, the man has, is the breadwinner and doesn't have to make that difficult choice between, you know, parenthood and successful career. Obviously, we know that that's changed and there's, you know, women and that glass ceiling that they talk about has been, I guess they call it shattered. Um, but the reality is women today still have to make that choice. They have to make that choice oftentimes between committing to their career or committing to their family. And it's a super unfair choice. It's hard enough to make that choice without the pressures of your employer um, or your manager or your supervisors, you know, discriminating against you by forcing you to make this choice. And um, the statistics show that pregnancy discrimination claims are on the rise steadily with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission over the last couple of years. Uh, you know, I gave you two examples, one mild, one egregious. But I would say on average in our law firm, we get anywhere between 10 to 20 calls regarding pregnancy discrimination. And, you know, look, the employer will, for at least sane employers, will not ever come out and say to your face that, hey, you know, your pregnancy is really going to hurt us because while you're gone and you're going to your appointments, work's got to be done. But don't think for a second that they're not thinking it. So when you announce your pregnancy to your manager and you get that, oh, I'm so happy for you type of reaction, you know, that's the time where your spidey sense needs to go off and you sort of need to have your head on a swivel and, and, and identify and be aware of these types of actions that may be going on in the workplace where there may be a very quick path to find a way to get rid of you. You start getting written up for things you never got written up for and you know, you're not exactly great on time. Tardies were never an issue, but now all of a sudden they're an issue. So, you know, you hear these horror stories and it's just unfortunate. You know, we've moved so progressively for civil rights. And while we want to, you know, talk about these civil rights cocktail parties and, and, and you know, with our friends and, how, you know, how, uh, how great the, the reality is, is that the workplace is still a cesspool of civil rights violations. And these pregnancy cases, keep an eye out for this, they're gonna to continue to find themselves in the public light because as more and more women are not forced to make this choice of being a mom or a professional, they're putting that burden on the employer to modify or change what's happening in the workforce. So just a couple thoughts here on a Friday, June 15th. Um, I'd encourage you to take a look at the article in the New York Times. It's real interesting. And the way they wrote it is actually pretty neat, too. There's pictures of women. You know, there's a story, for example, of one employee in there 
um, who disclosed she was pregnant and her manager said, I saw Demi Moore doing flips while she was pregnant, I guess in some movie. Um, so don't expect any special accommodation from me. Welcome to 2018, folks. Here we are, and here's what's going on. Always, if you have any questions regarding your rights, pregnancy discrimination, unpaid wages, anything else in the workforce, email me, richard at floridaovertimelawyer.com. Check out our website, www.floridaovertimelawyer.com. And just so you can see, um, I don't know if I can zoom this in for you guys, but this is literally um, what I was talking about um, on the um, pregnancy issue. I mean, that's just a portion of the article. So stay cool out there during the summer. Stay dry. It's raining a lot. And otherwise, uh, we'll be in touch. Thanks again for listening. Be well.